Hey everyone, yeah, back with another video again. This time around it's going to be a rant video that I've been meaning to do for a while now. I just haven't got around to it yet, but since currently we have no internet, so I'm unable to watch more anime episodes and do review and do reviews of the episodes. So um until then, I'm going to give my opinion on what I think is better in terms of Naruto. Naruto or Naruto Shippuden. I'm counting, I'm counting Kakashi Gaiden in with Shippuden because it basically is. It just takes up two, ep two episodes of regular Shippuden. It's not like a completely different series in and of itself. Although that would be kind of cool if they would have extended it a long time and made it... Maybe like a, maybe like an ex a really long OVA series or something. I thought that would have been awesome. Maybe, maybe like if they would have still had those two Shippuden episodes like they did, but then off of that they would have extended upon it by making it a really long OVA series of at least 25 episodes. I think that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way. But anyways though, first off, before I say my reasons, I'm going to say that over Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, I think Shippuden is better. Alright. And there are a few reasons for this. First off, I think that the story is a lot more coherent in the, sen in the sense that thing shit doesn't just happen for the sake of happening in Shippuden. There was a lot of times in the original Naruto series where I felt things were happening just for the sake of happening. Um, trying to bring up, an, trying to think of an example here. I had a few a few minutes ago, but I can't think of any now. And the characters seem to get a lot more development. Even the, uh, even the even, even the uh, supporting characters are getting a lot more development. Though, like the the rest of uh, the Konoha Eleven, for example, are getting a lot a lot more development. All right, and um, also there's a lot more character deaths too. I mean, in I mean, I mean protagonist deaths. Let me change that. There's a lot more protagonist deaths. Because in the original Naruto, the only all we had for protagonist deaths was the third Hokage. Like, really, that was it for protagonist deaths. I mean, okay, we te technically had Hayate Gekko as well. But, so I guess you could technically count him too. But in Shippuden, we had Jiraiya. We had freaking Asuma. We had Neji as of recently during the fucking war, which was a huge surprise. You know. It's like, Kijimoto is not against killing off characters here. Protagonists, that is. And... The th I thought we were going to have a Tsunade death, but apparently as of the recent chapter, she's been revived by Orochimaru. I mean, really, I would. I Tsunade is one of my favorite characters in the series. She's my favorite female character in the series. <coughs> but I don't know. I was still in content if she ended up dead because it would have caused a needed amount of drama that I think is not really drama, but it would have caused a certain level of uh, what's suspense be the right word or I don't know. It would. It would be appropriate, I think, considering, you know, she was cut in half for one, and also, she, uh, and also, I mean, it would have made way for them needing a new fucking Hokage, you know, they would need one at that point, obviously, so yeah, but she didn't die, neither did any of the other, uh, Kage, so, yeah, and if you want to talk about flashback shit, then, of protagonist deaths, there was, uh, Yahiko, and then there was Obito when he was a protagonist. And there was Rin referenced. And well, actually it was kind of shown during this war too, so yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah so yeah, there's a lot of protagonist deaths. Okay, and also uh, Minato and Kushina as well. You know, at the hands of the Ninetale Fox. So yeah, there was a lot of protagonist deaths in Shippuden, way fucking more than in the original Naruto. The original Naruto, I think, was trying to cater to more of the younger audience. Alright, and, and 
See, Putin's trying to cater, I think, to more teenagers, which, in a way, I, like, between 13 and 19, probably. And in a way, I think that makes sense. Re the reason why I say this is because people like me, I started watching Naruto when I was a kid. I was like 12 or, 12 or 13 when I started watching Naruto. Maybe, maybe, maybe 10 or 11, I don't remember for sure, but I was a kid when I started watching Naruto, alright? Now, of course they would make it a little bit more mature, because the old fans of Naruto would, would be grown up by now, you know what I'm saying? So, naturally, the uh, newer Naruto Shippuden would try to cater to more teenagers. Not really adults, I mean, I'm 18, I'm almost 19, um... But not really adults, although I was, I, I'll imagine I'll still like Naruto when I, when I am not a teenager anymore, if it's still running, you know. Um, but, or maybe it's not still running, whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? So that's my reasoning for that. It seems like there's a lot more protagonist deaths because, you know, teenagers like me can handle that kind of stuff better than, say, a 12-year-old can when it comes to their favorite characters dying. Then again, my favorite character in the series is Itachi. He wasn't really a protagonist, but he wasn't really an antagonist either, as we learn later on. <coughs> but still, I was, I was rather disappointed when he, that he died so fucking soon, you know. But then there was Jiraiya and Neji, two fan favorite characters that died. Jiraiya, I could kind of see. because I could kind of predict Jiraiya's eventual death, although I didn't expect it to happen so fucking soon. But I could kind of predict his eventual death because he was one of the oldest characters in the series. Naturally, if they're going to kill off young ones like Neji, they're going to kill off older ones too. I could kind of predict his death because of how old he is and the fact that, you know, I mean, if if he didn't die at the hands of Pain, he probably would have died at the hands of a modder or someone else during the war. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so, yeah. But... And then Neji, who I guess his, I guess the reason why Kishimoto decided to kill him off despite him being so young is because he did kind of become a Jonin despite being so young. And also, I mean, I think his character development pretty much ended in part one. Like, he had no more character development after that. None. So, I guess Kishimoto was thinking if he's going to kill off a character, might as well kill off Neji. Because Neji's character development's been over for so fucking long, you know. And a lot of people are pissed about that, that they're killing off irrelevant characters. I, uh, you know, as in terms of Neji, because he hasn't really done much recently, I don't really see that as a problem because he, there's no, as long as the character, his character development is finished, like there's nothing more you could, that the writer thinks he can do with him then there's no reason to keep him around, you know what I mean? If he wants to kill off characters, then kill him off. I mean, honestly, even some of my favorite characters, I don't mind if they get killed off as long as it's done in the right way. <coughs> With Itachi, I felt it was done a little bit too soon. I didn't expect the Itachi and Sasuke fight to come so soon. But Kishimoto did kind of make up for it, I think, by... Um by re reviving him and actually allowing Sasuke and Itachi to fight together against Kabuto. Alright, but then he just di died immediately again. I figured he'd stay alive for a while longer, but apparently not. So yeah, but anyways though, so that's another reason why I like Shippuden better than, um, better than, uh, the original Naruto is because of the... So I think the characters are a lot better, and there's a lot, you know, there's a lot more character development, and there's a lot more protagonist deaths, basically. Um, another reason why I like Shippuden better than the original Naruto, why I like, I like Naruto Shippuden better than the original Naruto, is, um, shit, uh, damn. Was, I know there was another fucking reason. Uh, oh, right, yeah. It's because of the filler. There's a shit ton less filler, it seems like, in Shikudin now. I honestly don't mind filler, usually, as long as it's well-written. 
And it doesn't do what Bleach does and just put a filler arc in the middle of a fucking main arc. <coughs> Ex except for during the war, and the old, but the only one where the filler did not take place in the actual, where it still wasn't the war, was the Chikara power arc. That's like the only one. Uh, which I enjoyed, by the way. All the others during this war, all the other filler episodes during this war are just random episodes that take place during the war, telling stories that Kishimoto never told him about the war, you know, telling stories that, about the war that Kishimoto never told in the manga, basically. But it's, it's still the war, though. Like, the only one that I recall is the Chikara power arc. So, yeah. But... <coughs> Basically, huh. so yeah, that's another huge thing is that the uh, there's a shit ton less filler, and the reason why I, I'm saying this as a positive is because though I don't mind filler, I just don't like there to be a huge shit ton of it. You know what I mean? I don't like it to extend. I the filler I prefer is like random filler episodes. All right. For example, like I just said, during this war, there were a lot of random filler episodes, not really whole filler arcs during this war, except for the Chikara power arc. And they took place in this war. Alright, like, the war were the fillers, you know. So that's another huge thing why I think uh, Shippuden is better than the original. Alright. And just, overall, the characters are a lot more powerful, too, obviously, because this, again, I guess goes back to their development. <coughs> the characters are a lot more developed, and so are their abilities. Naruto, obviously, because he's the main character, but also you get to see, you know, a lot of other characters power up. And you also, aside from protagonist deaths, you also get to see a lot of antagonist deaths that, you, I mean, you really didn't see a whole lot in... In the original, I mean, let's count how many antagonists you see die in Shippuden series thus far. You get to see Itachi Kisame, Daedara, Z uh, Zets, White and Black Zetsu, Nagato, Konan, Hidan, Kakuzu, Sasori, um. Orochimaru, although he's back now, you did technically get to see him die. Uh, Kabuto. Um, and yeah, that's a lot of antagonists that you get to see die. My camera's almost out of time here, so I better wrap this up. Overall, those are all the, basically all the reasons why I think Shippuden is vastly, Naruto Shippuden is vastly superior, in my opinion, <coughs> to the original Naruto series. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I see you guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.